Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster from English n u k r u Haju, a show which is normally a conversation with me and my lovely girlfriend, Alexia, but this week it's just me. Alexia will be back in action next week, so please, please be patient with me. But for now, let me tell you a quick story. So, in sound school, which is our pronunciation and conversation course, we have a section called Ask Me Anything, which is more or less like it sounds. It is an opportunity for our students to ask us any question that they want. Normally, these questions are about English. Sometimes they are funny questions. But, anyways, this week we received a question that was really, really difficult to answer. So, we need your help. help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. Help. Help. You know, I need someone. Help. When I was young, was so much younger than you. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. Pode me contar um pouco sobre a sua experiência com o Cambly? Aham.、Uh-huh. Bom, semana passada eu fiz uma aula super legal pelo Cambly. Eu tinha um tempinho de manhã livre antes de começar a trabalhar. E aí eu fiz um filtro no aplicativo e escolhi uma pessoa que quisesse falar sobre viagens. E escrevi e vi um artigo sobre as cidades que são melhores de se viver. E aí, fui lá. Encontrei a Anna. Anna é uma britânica que mora em Manchester e faz as mesmas coisas que a gente faz, que é Trusted House Sitters, né? Então, ela já está há 18 meses fazendo isso. Então, foi uma conversa super legal, super fácil e foi muito, muito bom encontrar uma outra pessoa que esteja fazendo a mesma coisa que nós. Então, você gostou muito, né? Eu adorei, eu adorei. Ainda mais de ela ter elogiado meu inglês. <risos> ela、claro. falou que é muito bom, que eu tenho pouquíssimas coisas para corrigir, mas de qualquer forma ela me corrigiu, o que eu achei muito bom também. É, vai lá, cambly.com, aplicativo, qualquer coisa, usar o código. Use o nosso código, inglês Use no Cru. Use o nosso código, inglês no Cru. Eu posso fazer isso em português, Alexia? <risos> e receba a sua primeira aula de graça. É, e é sem nenhum tipo de truque, gente. É entrar, botar seu e-mail, colocar o cupom, pronto, acabou. Então、Só、não、isso. se esqueçam, inglês no Cru é o cupom. Ok, vamos fazer o show. Bye! Hey, hey, ok, guys. So, like I was saying. In Sound School, our pronunciation and conversation course, which is, by the way, currently closed to the public, but we might be able to open some more spaces sooner than later. But in Sound School, we have a section called Ask Me Anything. It's very simple. Our students ask me or Alexia a question, and then we record a special personal audio just for them. Trying to give a good, honest answer to their question. Aren't you guys more well known? I love you guys. More people should know about you. So, first, let me just get this out of the way. Oh, thank you so much, Bianca. We love you. You are an absolutely wonderful student. But then I started really thinking about this question. Because this is actually a really, really good and quite complicated question. So, in the past, I had a simple answer as to why not too many people know about English Nui Kru. And then you have YouTubers and online English professors with 44 bazillion followers. Just a quick note bazillion is not a real number. That is just a weird invented word that we say when we want to say a number is really, really big. And personally, I think it's kind of funny because it sounds like Brazilian, Brazilian. Anyways, my answer in the past was simple I'm a teacher. I'm not a good marketer. I'm good at teaching. I'm not good at business. And that's where the conversation stopped. And I think there is some truth to that statement. That we don't really understand internet marketing 
And the most important thing to us is teaching real students. I suppose we could sell courses that promise you that in, uh, I don't know, six weeks, if you watch our videos and play on an app like Duolingo for 10 minutes a day, that you will be completely fluent. Maybe that would make us more popular. Maybe that would make us more famous. But we can't do that because we really believe in helping people and teaching people. And if we did that, I would probably go into a deep, deep depression. And Alexia would have to travel the world and take care of dogs all alone, which would be a very sad, sad situation. So yes, we are teachers. And for this reason, we only accept a certain number of students in our courses each time so we can personally work with each one of them. So maybe that is part of the reason why we are not more well-known. But, but, I think a much more important reason, something that I have been thinking a lot about lately, is because podcasts are still not that popular in Brazil. I love podcasts. I really love podcasts. I have been listening to podcasts daily, literally every day, for almost 10 years now. And I was recently reading a study that I think one out of every three Americans at least know what podcasts are, and then one out of every five Americans listen to podcasts regularly. That's a lot of Americans. So I decided to look for the statistics in Brazil, and I literally could not find them. There is not much information about podcasts and podcasting and podcasters in Brazil because it's still a relatively new media platform. But here's the thing. I believe in podcast. I believe that audio is the future of education. I believe this for so many different reasons. Reason number one, audio is easy. You can listen to podcasts anywhere, anytime. You can listen to podcasts when you're going to work, on the bus, cooking dinner, in the shower. It is the most versatile media platform that I can think of. Reason number two, I personally think that podcasts are more honest. On a YouTube video or an Instagram story or whatever platform you're probably looking at while listening to this podcast, everything has to be perfect. Your Instagram profile has to show the sexiest version of yourself. According to my Instagram feed, all of my friends are rich and famous and in really good shape. And I know that this is not true. But, but with podcast, for some reason, we still have this sense of being open and being honest. Because at its core, most podcasts are simply conversations. It is storytelling, and the best stories are the most honest ones. Reason number three, podcasts help you learn. If you have listened to this show for a while, especially the last episode about the difference between learning and consuming information, you probably know that I'm pretty radical about these kinds of things. I think there is so much information out there that it is really easy to have this sense of information overload, which makes it really difficult to learn something of value. With podcast, when it is just a couple of people having a conversation, it slows things down. It gives you a time to calm down and really learn. Not just consume information, but absorb information to really internalize it. I don't know about you, but for me, podcast kind of serves as this weird form of escapism where I don't have to think about Trump and Bolsonaro for a moment, and I can just listen to a good story or a good conversation. So those are just three of the thousands of reasons why I love podcast, and I think that is the real reason why we are not so well-known, quote-unquote, because we are playing the long game. We dedicate almost all of our time and all of our attention 
to the idea that audio and podcasting are going to be a very, very big deal in Brazil, and that English teaching will become more personal and more focused on the student. And if you are listening to this show, I imagine you also like podcasts, and you also believe that English learning should be a more human experience. So, this is how we need your help. If you want to spread the love, if you want to support what we do, then all I ask is one small favor: think of one or two friends who you believe would like this show and share it with them. Very simple. This is so helpful for other people to discover the show, and for some crazy reason, right now we are the number three rank podcast. In the education podcast category in Brazil, I don't know why. I don't know how the iTunes charts work, but if we could make it to number one, the quality of this show, the impact that we could have could be so much bigger, so much better. Yeah, so I think that's it for today, guys. A long rant about why our business is not as successful <laughs> as it probably should be. Anyways. I love you. Keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já já. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening to another episode of English no Kuruhaju. If you like what we do, if you want to support the show, here's what you can do: leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Android, wherever you listen to the podcast. It really helps other people discover the show. And you can sign up for our VIP newsletter. So each time we release new courses, early discounts for Sound School, new worksheets, special discounts. The people on our newsletter are the first to know. So if you are interested in the things we are doing, go to englishnewcrew.com and sign up. And as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já.